What's up everybody and welcome back to another Alliance War video. Um, I'm a little behind on the uh, Alliance War video so I apologize in advance but uh, we had some, uh, some some events this weekend you know we had um, Mother's Day so that takes precedence you got to spend time with the family spend time with you know the mom in your life so uh, we did that so uh, I got two war videos to put up today. Now this war is uh, my worst war of the season. Um, we had some drama in the Alliance and um, a little bit of confusion between battle groups with placing with Suicide Mastery on versus Suicide Mastery off. And um, anyway, so it caused a little bit of drama. So there's some heat, so there's some pressure in this war. Um, we're coming off, I think, um, a, a lost war that we lost really bad. So we really want to bounce back. And um, as a result, I was kind of assigned a few more fights than usual, I guess. And um, let's just jump right in and, and, and see what happens here because, uh, you know, I struggled on, on some fights. So our first fight is uh, Medusa on Power Drain, Blood in the Water, Path 8, Section 1. This isn't really not a bad fight whatsoever. Um, just go in with Typical Doom. If she's on the node prior to this one, when you nullify her, she gains a bunch of power. So her being placed here was actually a blessing. Um because I can nullify her and fight her as usual with Doom. And uh, as you see, that's what's happening in this fight right now. Just very typical um, fight here. I think I have a few fights in a row, so I'm, I'm heavily boosted right now. And with the class advantage, you can see like, you know, the, the PI is just ridiculous. So there's one easy fight. Um, then I had to do cleanup on Warlock. I was actually assigned this fight to begin with. Someone else went in and died. Um, so that kind of adds to the bit of the drama. So I go in here full well knowing that uh, I'm going to degen with Doom. It's not the best matchup. I believe Venom is one of the best matchups here. Um, so this also has Matador. So, you know, I'm not getting any power whatsoever. Uh, I just want him to throw this L2 and... Um, I'm not doing a great job baiting right now, and as a result, I'm just, you know, willpower is just degenerating me, and he's just dancing. Like, look at him. It's kind of crazy. So enough for me to, like, degen quite a bit here, and then I just decide, screw it, I'm going in for the kill. I guess I should have done that a bit earlier. Now I have an R3 Doctor Doom on Power Snatch. This is a scary fight, you know, really, it should be quaked. Um, I'm not really a, a great Quaker yet, I'm not at that level. Um, and I did this fight last war, and I was successful. So, you know, going with Doom against Doom, it makes sense to me. Um, what's the problem here is uh, <clears throat> I can't really use Doom style too much. And uh, you'll see, uh, let's see how this goes. So right now things are going okay. Kind of building up to uh, the Doom cycle, except for there. I, uh, you know, he has his aura active, so I can't really throw my my special three right now. Now I can. So I also have to be careful on this node because it's, uh, you know, your your buff gets nullified every seven or eight seconds or something like that, and he gains power. So I don't mind if I'm in the doom cycle. Though. And then here, you know, we're doing okay. I'm trying to build him back up. I don't want him to throw a special so I can continue going. And there, I think I launched the special three just before my aura ends um, so I can still have the fury, but my other fury, I believe, was nullified anyway. So it's like really the damage output with Doom against Doom here is, is not great. The advantage I have is that I can kind of you know, kind of, uh, keep control of the fight, keep control of the power using my special one. Here he throws the SP2 and I just take most of it to the block. I dex the last part of that third beam um, because his block penetration is unbelievable. And then at this point I'm realizing like, you know, I'm not doing much power, or I mean much, much damage to him. So I'm just going to throw my SP2 even if I don't have the fury. And just, you know, let the incinerates do their work. So things are going good. We're 110 hits in now. You know, 
things are going according to plan. I feel really solid at this point. And I'm just always trying to keep a special one. Here I accidentally went up a little too high, but it doesn't really matter. He's already passed the backup recovery. And now he throws L1. This is where things start going bad here. His aura is active, and I push him to SP2. I dex the first two beams, I miss the third beam. And watch me just die here. So mad. So a small mistake. I should not have pushed him to SP2 when his aura was active, and that was a mistake, and I have to own that mistake. So then I go in with Torch just to finish off the fight, but at this point I'm fuming. And, uh, you know, it's a big, it's a big loss because I'm going to need Doom later, which means I'm going to have to use, you know, a revive and some healing potions. And that's just, you know, lots of wasted items on a fight that I should have done. Now, this next fight is another scary one. It's, it's Domino on an encroaching stun. And uh, we chose to bring my uh, uh, Archangel in. So I just have to be aware of the timer and throw my special at the right time. And uh, rain and be very aware of her lucky you know luckily I have a poison on her now two poisons I'm able to dex at sp1 and uh, I choose not to throw a heavy because I have to throw my S my special before the timer is there so I'm kind of being conservative right now I got no neurotoxins on her and that's kind of making me nervous. And she's very happy to throw this SP1, which if you miss at SP1, sometimes that could just be a game in right there. So here she throws her special, and I have to launch mine into her block to avoid getting stunned. And now she's unlucky again. So, you know, RNG's not working well for me. I get parried here. And then finally, I can convert a few neurotoxins here. Now we have a bunch of neurotoxins. I'm gonna have to throw a special here and almost push her to SP3. So that that was a really scary fight. Not a great matchup for Archangel, but it is what it is. Now this next fight is a rank three Immortal Abomination. I'm gonna use Archangel. I've won this fight before with Archangel. Really, it should be quaked. I'd much rather fight a duped uh, Immortal Abomination because then he would start with three poisons. Self inflicted poisons that I can convert to neuros right away. So here I'm just trying to parry and hope that I can cause a poison on him. And you know, nothing's working right right now. He's got a poison on me. Now I finally have a poison on him and two neuros. And now I got five neuros. So now I'm feeling pretty good about myself. But I got two poisons on me and take massive block damage there. Um, I didn't I didn't dex it, I'm not confident enough in dexing it right now. And uh, I'm just hoping my Neros are doing the trick, but I'm melting away here, but so is he. So I'm just looking at his health, looking at my health, looking at his health. And then I throw a special hoping it will work, but no, with 3% health left, I die to his poison. So I'm two deaths in this war. That's unbelievable, I'm furious. So just go in with Doom and clean up the last 3%. It's very disappointing. I had a little bit of uh, poor luck there, but I've had some really bad, um, how do you say this? Not RNG, not necessarily bad luck, but bad matchups. Um, and even this, you know, this is a, a rank two Storm Pyramid X. And with her glancing and all that baloney, she can be annoying. And if, uh, if she hits you with that SP2, even if you block it, you know, it's pretty terrible. So I'm happy to have her throw SP1s. I'm just being very aware of the glancing attacks um, and checking to see if I actually place a shock on her. Now this one I can get into a solid rhythm and um, get into the doom cycle. You know, but with the way she glances attacks, she, she comes off very, very tanky and hard to kill. And that special did a lot of damage there. Now we're in the Doom Cycle, so things are doing pretty good. I didn't steal as much power as I'd hoped there. And here I'm hoping to build to a special 3, and I, I'm able to do it. If not, then her SP2 could have been pretty nasty. Uh, I'm not sure if it would have been unblockable or not, but if she would have threw that SP2, that might have like been a game ender for me there. And then I finish this fight off, so get back in a good rhythm here after 2 kills. Now I have a rank 3 Apocalypse on... Uh, 
kinetic transference and powerful from afar. I actually really like this matchup for Doom. Um, I could steal his power gain, the node, and really take control of this fight early on. Throw a few special ones and um, get into a good rhythm here. Here I gotta dex that last part of the beam for sure because he'll just gain power and it can just be a nasty trend here. And now I get to the Doom Cycle. From here, you know, this fight's pretty much over now. He still has almost 80% health left, but you know, once you get into the cycle with the node here, it's really not that bad. Now, do I throw it? No, I'm so close to getting SP3 here. So I just eat that to the block. And now we're going to have Double Fury. Which can be a little sketchy, actually, on this fight, because I'm heavily boosted. And uh, might trigger protection. I'm not sure if it does. So let's, uh, let's pay attention to see if it does. He's really low on health, so even if I did trigger one protection, it wouldn't, wouldn't bug me. But it doesn't look like I triggered any protections. Now this fight is basically over. So now we're moving on. Something just happened to my computer. There we go, we're back. Now I have a, a Sasquatch on regen. This is a pretty easy uh, human torch fight. I want to save my flame on for the boss because I'm assigned the boss, which is no joke. So here, the thing I like a lot about uh, Sassy is he's very aggressive. So it's really easy, even if you don't have um, no flame on, for the no flames to trigger anyways. So he's just melting away here. I like it when he's at SP2. And then he's nice and plays along. I could try to punish that special one, but sometimes I think it's risky. I found that out in uh, map 7 in particular when he was one of the mini bosses. And here I'm kind of saving my special 3 for this, this Wrath of Tanarak. So I'm just going to stay back as long as I can, but for some reason I went for an intercept there and uh, ate it. It's not a huge deal to me. Here I'm just going to hit some into the block and then throw the SP3. And, it, and I don't think this finishes the fight. 4%. Now I just kind of have to stay back and let the Nova Flames do their work here. And that's what happened. So, you know, it took a little combo. But overall, not too bad. Next fight, I have to do cleanup on Modok. Someone died to him, even with the pre-fight. So I'm going to go into the Doom here. And uh, I'm literally just going to parry, medium, heavy. And just do that until Oblivion. And I don't need Doom for the boss. So I'm not really worried about any health loss from the block damage. Just be as safe as possible. I'm not even going to try to dex it. Nothing. Just literally take it to the block. Except I dex that one. And they're brute force, so you see I'm, you know, degen a little bit. Now this fight should be done with, uh, with Red Mags. Pretty easy fight. Um, Red Magneto kills his uh, auto block. And there we go, that's it for this fight. So now get ready for one of the worst boss fights you've ever seen. Um, so we have some pre-fights here. I go in with Torch, Flame on, I get hit immediately by a Heavy. I think I have Dex off for this fight too. I take his SP1 right to the block which builds up my Smolders. There for some reason I'm unable to and I just eat it. Eating shots, eating shots, eating shots, eating shots. Throw an SP2. And luckily for the adrenaline tactic, because he's a six-star, I'm able to uh, uh, regain some health. I'm at 23 smolders, so my my smolders doing the job there. I get a nice little backdrop intercept. Kind of taking um, back control of this fight. I get hit by another heavy. And then, uh, you know, I just get out of this fight 
such a terrible performance, but hey, it's a one shot and that's what matters. We end up losing this war um, by uh, quite the dramatic margin. And it was uh, it was a big blow just because it was a little bit of that, um, how do we say that, that little bit of drama in the alliance. Um, and in losing a war right after the drama doesn't really help. But uh, let's see if we can get back on track for the next war. So I, I hope you like this video and see how, uh, you know, maybe my last few wars I did pretty well, but this war, oof, two deaths and uh, some, some just brutal fights. So and, and enjoy my honesty. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and join the Discord. Thank you.